All right, guys, in this edition of Mon uh, Market Watch, uh, we have one particular coin that, that I wanted to share with you that, um, that I've talked about on a few occasions, but it's been quite some time. And just doing a little bit of uh, uh, kind of like a market checkup, this coin has actually go have been going up here recently. Um, it used to be that now, this particular coin uh, uh, could have been obtained for around 10 to 20 bucks at its low. And uh, now they're, they're pretty tough to obtain even for that level. Uh, we've seen prices uh, shoot up, especially for mint state, um, mint state condition type coins. And uh, no surprise, you guys are looking at it right on screen. We're on eBay, actually. Um, the Lowell... National Park Earring Quarters. Uh, these, uh, just to kind of recap, is on the 2019 Philadelphia Minted Lowell National Park, or America the Beautiful, however you want to, you know, kind of coin that uh, particular series, uh, quarter. And uh, it's actually quite a neat, um, neat little, uh, I guess you could call it either, well... I, I don't even know what really to call it. I've heard of a, c a couple different theories as to what this coin is, actually is. Uh, but if you could um, examine this NGC graded example, it says obverse die chip. So a grading company like NGC is currently attributing this particular coin as an obverse die chip. Now, I don't know if you could see it on this particular photo. It's not the best, but... Right where Washington's ear would be, right right underneath, you know, his hair area, there's actually a raised dot. And this has been referred to since its discovery as the earring. Uh, I remember talking about this coin a few years ago, 2019. That's three years ago. Time sure has flown since then. Uh, I uh, chronicled the first discoveries of these coins and had announced it to you folks uh, as a coin to be on the lookout for. And right out of the gate, the coins were selling for really healthy prices. They were up around $100, you know, some even sold in excess of that. I think there was even an example that sold for a number of, hundred of hundreds of dollars. I don't know if that was possibly some sort of market manipulation to kind of hype up this particular anomaly, but um, that's, that's where we're at on it. So, um, you know, the greater, well, NGC in this particular case, they recognize it as a die chip. So what exactly in the world is it? Um, uh, probably the best picture is going to be this one here for $75, uh, which shows that raised anomaly. There's even a little bit of a, uh, close up there for you. So it's a raised, it, it, pretty much pretty close to being a perfect circle with a little indent dot right in the middle of the thing. It looks like a donut that's sitting on his ear. But when you look at the coin um, and the close-up of it, I mean, you could see that it is perfectly placed right on Washington's ear, you know. Um, and I, I've heard a couple different theories. So, some folks have said, yeah, that's a die chip. And I think a, a good percentage of the people that are aware of this anomaly agree that it is a die chip another one that i had heard uh this coming from christopher rhodes and it actually makes a lot of sense when the actual wor uh, blank working die even before the working hub uh presses the design onto the working die which the working dies um are the workhorses they produce the coins so those are the dies that eventually um exhibit a lot of wear and tear they break down over time and those are the um, the dispensable dies they get replaced the actual raw die is actually a lot taller than the actual final product of the working die they actually have to mill it down into a conical shape and then do all, all sorts of other things the theory is the raised little dot that you see on the coin is actually a leftover milling um, uh, spot from that particular process and they hadn't had the opportunity to grind it down now the only thing that i could possibly think of that might cast just a small shred of doubt as to what that is or if it's that particular process that causes this is that there are a number of different progressions right 
Um, actually, I have an example that was given to me as a gift from uh, uh, from Hemen. He's one of my uh, loyal visitor um, um, viewers. Sorry about that. Came and talk. Uh, thank you, Hemen. By the way, uh, beautiful gift, and it's the only one that I have ever owned. And um, I was looking at this coin uh, long before he sent me this particular example. He also sent me an earlier state progression of this particular anomaly. Uh, so here is actually, if I could find it, uh, right here. So this particular listing right here is actually the first one. Uh, 2019 Lowell Quarters Early Stage Earring Die Chip Circulated. Uh, eight bucks is the starting bid for this pair. Uh, and it's a progression set. But when you look at these, they actually have what looks to be kind of like the beginning stages of that anomaly. Which might actually uh be a a better indicator that this is indeed a die chip because a die chip forms as pieces of the die begin to break down over many strikes uh so you know we have this one here which is a, a partial uh, circular pattern right underneath the earlobe of george washington and um it, it's actually quite neat yeah, there's a couple different uh progressions of this although they're kind of on the light side there's a really good one right there uh, kind of like that semi-circle. Uh, but you can see that this particular two-coin set beautifully illustrates the progression from beginning to the final kind of more uh, uh, advanced uh, progression of this uh, uh, this anomaly. I, I'm calling it anomaly until further notice. I, I you know, even the um, the experts that look at it, it it's, it's all over the place. It's either a die chip or it's some other unexplained event that happened uh, with the die. Um, but until that happens, this is quite the interesting find. And uh, even to this day, people are finding them in, in, um, uh, in circulation. Of course, your best bet is to obtain BU rolls of this particular quarter. Uh, good luck with that. They're starting to dry up mightily fast as people are still searching for W mid quarters. Yeah, another kind of thing to throw into the mix. Uh, w Mint Quarters came out first in 2019. And um, yeah, people even to this day are trying to source some original BU rolls, given the fact that the quarters from 2019 uh, are worth quite a bit of money, you know, from $15, $20 to $30 for Mint State um, uh, graded examples, uh, ungraded examples rather. Uh, they, there is still a lot of desirability to go through those particular roles to find that not only that, but also the earring quarters that you see here. So you saw a partial uh, little image here, but uh, we have three known sales of the quarter. And um, yeah, these things are not 10, 20 bucks anymore. I remember these things dipped as low as like seven, eight dollars. And that was right around 2020 into the uh, the beginning stages of 2021. Um, there were a lot more of these available. I would say probably four or five X the amount of earring quarters were still available for sale uh, over a year ago. And uh, they've all but dried up. Uh, there's so few of them left out there. And uh, the ones that are available on eBay are in pretty, pretty well circulated condition. Uh, but collectors, by nature, they want the nicest specimens that they could uh, get a, a hold of. Um, and here are what I would feel like just in the last 90 days. There's only been three examples. One in which that is actually graded by NGC. That one sold for $41.09. Um, one example sold for $35. And here's another one here that sold for $40 back June 19th. This one, I think, looks to be the better looking coin out of uh, the two circulated examples. The graded one, well, it's just graded. But um, based off of the sale price of the coin, some would say that it's probably not worth grading if you know that the coin is going to end up in a mid-state 64 or 65 slab. Um, it's going to be, it's going to end up being like a waste of money because you got to pay for the error attribution and all that great stuff. Um, so yeah, this is a quarter that is definitely on the rise. Uh, was wondering, I mean, do you, have you guys found these? Do you have any? 
Um, I want you guys to pay close attention to the market uh, here in the um, near future. Uh, I would say in the short term, keep an eye out on these. Uh, I would say in the next six, six to 12 months, just to see where they sit. Um, because, you know, if nobody else has any, the market will eventually dry up. And um, these things will uh, end up just um, being, you know, kind of like a folklore type of coin that pops up, you know, every once in a while. And um, that is quite interesting, to say the least. Uh, but there you go. Yeah, we are, uh, I guess, 2x or a little bit higher on values of these particular funky little quarters with a little earring on it. I don't know what to make of that, Mr. Washington. Uh, is there anything that you want to tell us about, uh, you know, uh, about the rouge that you're wearing and there, anything else? That That's neither here nor there. Um, yeah, he did have a powdered wig, and, uh, you know, some people did say that he possibly wore makeup. So that's not, not anything really. But um, it's pretty neat. You know, it's a very progressive-looking coin, uh, popular in a sense that it is um, an anomaly that, uh, that people love and um, one in which that is uh, gaining in popularity just based on sales alone. It's a shame there are more of these out there uh, for sale uh, because it, that might give us a better indicator of where these things are going to uh, uh, sell at as we come into the holidays. Uh, but this, this coin has been around for three years and uh, yeah, prices, uh, prices are on the up and up. So if you have a nice, mid-state example and you need a few extra bucks well it might be a good time to uh to move one or two of them uh because there is a market for them uh again probably wouldn't even bother grading them and uh you know yeah kind of neat kind of neat if i say so so that's gonna go ahead and do do it for this uh this market watch edition on the 2019 lowell national park earring die chip quarter and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you again for all your views and support. If you guys are uh, avid hunters out there and you're looking for your next big thing, make sure you're, uh, you're grabbing a hold of it and getting some of these boxes and coin rolls and going to the coin shops and just really scraping the bottom of the barrel to look for uh, some of the most interesting coins that a lot of other people tend to overlook. So... That's going to go ahead and do it for this one. Uh, again, I'm Sean with Blue Ridge Silverhound. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you've got any comments, go ahead and post them below about either this coin or maybe another one that you've uh, found that you want more clarification on. You can always send us an email, and it's at info at livecoinqa.com. Um, and, uh, yeah, we have a whole panel of experts that can, uh, you know, tell you what you have. And if it's something interesting, we could highlight it on our next live stream that occurs every Monday night. So that's it. Happy hunting. And uh, hopefully you guys, uh, you know, make some money out of it. All right. Take care.